Welcome in Karibuni to Aroma of Zanzibar. Today I am going to make chocolate and vanilla Swiss rolls. All right, since I do not have the special pan or tray that they use for jelly rolls, nor do I have a half a sheet cookie tray, I decided to use a full sheet cookie tray and make both the recipes in one. All right, so as you can see, just applying some fat on the tray and you want a lot of fat so that the parchment paper sticks very well. I'm using Crisco, you could use oil if you want to. So then I place my parchment paper, one on one side, this would probably be for chocolate or vanilla, doesn't matter, and then on the other side here. Okay. Now in my tray here, I've got, these are the ingredients for the chocolate Swiss roll. So I've got some cocoa powder and some all-purpose flour. And I'm gonna add one teaspoon of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon of salt. All right. And then this is for the vanilla Swiss roll. Also one teaspoon of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon of salt, okay? Now, for the rest of the ingredients, this is the combined sugar that I'll be using, and I'm using six eggs. This will also be combined for both, all right? And the oil is combined, okay? I'll put the measurements in the description box below. All over here, I have got six eggs that are in room temperature. So if you decide to use half the recipe, you would use only three eggs. All right, so we're making a sponge here. And now I'm going to add the sugar. I'm using granulated sugar that's 12 tablespoons, about 174 grams, and that is six ounces. So if you want to use half the recipe, you would use only six tablespoons. Okay, and then it's time to add the vanilla. And the oil. I'm using four tablespoons of vegetable oil. So if you're using half the recipe, you would use only two tablespoons. So I'm looking for my mixture to be almost double in volume because this is a very light and fluffy sponge. And this is uh, ready. Actually, if you can do more, please go ahead and uh, do more. All right. And uh, now I'm going to divide my mixture into two portions. I did not measure it, so if you want to do that, please go ahead and do it. I just eyeball it just to make sure that it's half the quantity. And we are going to mix one with vanilla for the vanilla Swiss roll. Just going to sift in a little at a time, and you want to be as gentle as you can to fold in the flour so that you do not deflate the air. All right? You're going to repeat the same process until you finish all the flour. And now we're going to do the chocolate the same way. You can actually sift in your chocolate, uh, I mean your cocoa powder and the flour together before you add into the batter, but I just uh, did it separately, but it doesn't really ma make a difference. my batter is ready i'm just going to pour it into the cookie tray or cookie sheet and um, 
Please make sure that the heat is ready. Mine is, my oven is at 150 degrees Celsius at about 302 Fahrenheit. And you're just going to spread this as evenly as you can because you want the roll to be all same thickness. Not one side is thicker and one side is thinner. It doesn't look nice. All right, and the edges too. I tried the edges, but my camera angle was not in the right position, so this is the best I could do. And then once that's done, we're going to do the vanilla as well. Let me put my tray in the right way so you can see that. Now, these would bake at 12 to 15 minutes. The vanilla baked pretty fast. So at uh, 11 minutes, you want to start uh, keeping a close eye on it because you don't want it to burn. All right. It actually worked pretty well for me. I was uh, skeptical, but I wanted to give it a try. You never know until you try. And I was glad that it actually worked. Saved me a lot of time. All right. So this is ready. And we just pop it into the oven. As soon as it comes into the oven, wait for two minutes before. It, these are very thin sheets, so they're going to cool very fast. So you want to roll them while they're still hot. If you need to wear gloves, please go ahead and do so. Okay, so this one too. We're just going to roll them. And then you can leave them to cool for about 10 to 15 minutes. Mine took about uh, 15 minutes and um, just want to open them up. Some people like to put uh, powdered sugar. Uh, mine just work without it, so it's fine. But if you want to do that to avoid the cake to stick to it on each other, you know, the roll. So I'm using a mocha, which I don't have a recipe at the moment because it was just a leftover that I have. So I'm going to use it for my chocolate roll, but you can use anything you want. You want to do Nutella, you want to do cream cheese, you want to do heavy whipping cream, anything would work, buttercream, uh, any type of jam. Okay, so you're just going to spread it nicely. And then now you're going to take it out. See, because since we rolled it while it was still warm, now it can, it releases very fast, but my parchment paper still was not so great in spite of putting so much fat it still was crinkled okay anyway never mind now you're gonna wrap it up you can use another paper if you want but i just wanted to use the same one and uh, gonna keep this in the fridge for at least uh, one and a half hours to two hours now for the vanilla the edges were not so great but um, i managed not so bad for an attempt and then I used raspberry jam. You can use any type of jam you want and uh, chocolate filling and uh, whatever you want. And that's it. You can put as much jam as you want to. Let me just gonna roll it. The vanilla was really, really nice. And the chocolate too, I can't make up my mind. All right, there we go. So we're just gonna roll this nicely. So I kept them for about one and a half hours. I'm impatient when it comes to waiting like this. Now we're gonna see. And when you take them out from the fridge, you wanna keep them for about a couple of minutes, maybe five to 10 minutes, so that uh, they, if they, you know, they kind of cool, okay? I like to dust some sugar. It's not necessary, but it gives a beautiful look. And then we're just going to slice this baby and see how it is. So pretty and so fluffy. Take another slice. And now for the chocolate. The chocolate was pretty big, but also nice. And let me, okay, I like to put the, to dust the sugar and the cocoa powder because the cocoa powder is kind of bitter for the kids. So I just wanted to mix that. Let's take the pretty side. Not so pretty. 
um, but uh, we will make it look pretty. Just slice it and remove that. And thank you so much for more recipes. Please visit me at Hero Room of Zanzibar. You'll find all the measurements and ingredients in the description box below and on this very last page. And I would love to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you for being with me for this year and uh, wishing you all the very best and a blessed new year.